Howdy everybody. Today I just wanted to show part two of my pickups from the Pan Coin Show. It's the Pennsylvania Association of Numismatics. Um, it's a show that <clears throat> it's a show that they do twice a year in Monroeville, PA. It's a pretty big show. I try to make it to everyone. Um, I in my last video I showed the coins that I picked up to sell on eBay, on my eBay store. These, however, are what I picked up for my own personal collection. So, actually, for once, did not pick, the, pick up any slab coins. All of these coins are raw. And I have a little bit of variety for a couple different collections I'm trying to complete. I have the key date walker for my budget walker set, along as a, along with additions to three other albums that I'm working on at the moment. So I think to start off, since I have this binder out, I will show you this. This is a 1921 Denver. Walking Liberty Half Dollar. This is the key date of the series. I did not quite pay that, but they these do command a high price. So I knew going into it that, that this coin would cost me the most. The 21D has a mintage of 280,000. In the grand scheme of things, that is really not a lot of coins. Um, all in all, I like the look of this coin. Uh, the dealer has it graded good. I would say that's about accurate. I've been trying to get slightly better, more VG fine coins for this set. But it's also a budget set, so I did not want to spend buku bucks for this coin. And like I said, all in all, I'm very pleased with it. There is this little nick there that I could have did without, but I'm not complaining. It fills the spot. So if I open this up, you can see all the coins I have left are really only on this first page. Everything else is full. So, I had a goal to complete this in 2024, and I think I am well on my way to do that. I just will have one, two, three, four, five, six coins left. So, we're going to... Pull this out. Get this open. Aside from maybe the 16S, it should be smooth sailing from this point. Goes down. And there we go. That spot's full. Get that out of the way. All right. That page is looking pretty good. I have seven left to go. Up next, let's see. Let's get all these flips out. Okay. Now, I did pick up a few Franklins that I just thought were really nice. And I do like Franklins. It's one of my favorite coins. I'm starting to find that I just really like half dollars in general. Whether they be uh, Franklins, Walkers, seated half dollars, just half dollars in general. And uh, 
Franklins have really been tickling my fancy this past year, really. Um, this is a 1951. Ooh. Camera's freaking out there. Just a really nice strike. Beautiful luster. BU coin. I know it's hard for you guys to see, but this does not have full bell lines. There is a couple dings right along here that uh, it would keep it from getting that designation. <clears throat> but all in all, just a really nice Franklin half. And we got a 1954. Again, really nice strike. There's some dark kind of spotty rim toning around there, which I actually like. I think that adds to the eye appeal of this coin. Some of you might disagree, but to me, that's just nice, natural looking dark toning. The strike is beautiful though. I would consider this full bell lines. Zoom in. Okay, we have another rim toner, dark rim toning. It's just a 1962, so pretty common. I mostly just pick this up uh, because I like the look of the coin. I just think that's quite beautiful. Let me know what you guys think. Up next, oh, maybe I'll just keep this zoomed in like that. We have another 54. Full bell lines. I'll right, set that aside. Let's okay, then we have a 56. Beautiful luster on that one. I hope the camera is doing these coins justice. I would like to eventually maybe get a get something a little better than my iPhone, but for now that's what I got. Here's a 53S. Right now, I'm just kind of saving these Franklins up, putting them in a binder. I do think that Franklins are undervalued. And because I'm a, a fairly young guy, I think well within my lifetime, uh, we'll see a big pop in, in value in these. So as I come across nice ones, I'm just kind of picking them up and putting them away. And if they never go any higher than what I paid for them, that's fine. I got a nice collection of some beautiful coins that I can hopefully one day pass down to my son. And uh, that's really all that matters to me for my own personal collection. So next, since you guys had already seen it, I picked up this beautiful, stunning 1907 Indian head scent. I mean, just the details on this thing are spectacular. I would agree. I'd call this red brown. Look at that liberty. Look at the details in the feathers. 
great coin. But this is actually, oh, nope, not that. Is actually an addition for my 20th century pipe set. It's been a little while since I put anything in this. This was also one of my goals for 2024. I don't quite think I'm going to be able to complete it though. Not this year. But I'm really trying to get just some absolute stunners in this album. A lot of proofs. Some are just really nice BU examples. But this Indian's going to go right there. Once I pop it out of here. Let me get something to push that down on. Okay, that's in there. I mean, it, it really is an absolutely beautiful, shiny coin. But I tell you what, compared to that proof wheat scent that's next to it, it looks a little dull. But I'm pleased with it. Let me know what you guys think of this page. Just need that steel scent and a modern copper plated zinc uh well technically before 2000 since this is a 20th century type set maybe i'll get a, a 1990 or something like that and pop it in there but well we're coming along okay that's it for that It's just some more budget-friendly things I picked up. Naturally, I got these at the end of the show whenever I was kind of running out of money, but I need them for my collection, so I was happy to get them. We have an assortment of three Canadian silver five-cent pieces and four Canadian non-silver 50 cent pieces. I'm not going to show me popping these into albums. Um, nobody wants to sit here for an extra 20 minutes while I do that. But I will show you. I have the And 1917. I believe this flips the other way. Yep. Now I'm not looking for amazing examples of these. I am really just trying to fill spots in this book. If you've never seen anybody collect these, they're kind of a, a fun niche thing to collect. And if you like Canadian coins, I highly recommend picking up this book, going to coin shows, and searching them out. Really, you can you can get them fairly cheap. There is some rare ones, and if the dealer knows anything about them, uh, you're probably going to pay a pretty penny for it. But for the most part, most dealers, at least in the United States, just don't care about these kind of things. Or because the market's so slim, they understand that there's value, but they're willing to take far less because they just want to get rid of them. So, if you're ever interested in starting a Canadian five cent silver set, please do. Um, I've only been working on this for a few months now, and I'm really having a blast finding coins for this. So, I'll pop those in later. 
then for clad 50 cent pieces, I have 1978. Such a beautiful design. 1981. Nineteen seventy seven, and nineteen eighty two. Now, I don't have too many left in this set to complete, and it, it really is a awesome looking set. I mean, I, I picked up some beauties for this. And this is another cheap set to complete. I think so far I might have maybe a hundred dollars into this. Maybe a hundred to a hundred and fifty. And these are some really beautiful coins. Dean from Mazabizic gold and silver actually hooked me up with this book and when he gave it to me it had maybe three or four coins in it but it was a set that I never thought about completing until he gave it to me and I realized you know what um, sometimes you don't always have the money to spend on completing expensive sets so it's nice to still be able to go to a show or a coin shop with a lower budget and be able to pick up coins for your collection. And this set is great for that. And again, just really having fun doing this. That's what it's all about in the end, is having fun. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought about these pickups. And I hope you all have a great day.